And the 65th Daytona 500 is underway. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmats Race Recap. Let's get right into the first race of the 2023 season that brought us to Daytona for the Daytona 500. The front row to start today's race was Alex Bowman and Kyle Larson. Alex Bowman showing he had a very fast race car, as it was the sixth time in a row that he started on the front row of the Daytona 500. Alex getting a great jump to start the race, with great two-wide racing going on behind him. Neither line being able to get a great jump on the start, as they were side-by-side side with him and Kyle Larson both battling back and forth for that lead. With the 20 car of Christopher Bell making his way to the front, breaking up the Team Hendrick Brigade. Kyle Larson not waiting long to take that lead back, as he took back the top spot on lap 23. Hitting the halfway point of stage one, the top two were still the same as Kyle Larson and Christopher Bell continued to swap the lead back and forth. With green flag pit stops fast approaching. Pit stop starting on lap 38 with the Toyotas coming down first, followed by the Chevys and the Fords. With Danny Hamlin cycling to the race lead after everybody made their green flag pit stop. However, it was his teammate Martin Truex that quickly assumed the race lead as we got down to the end of stage one. With Martin Truex trying to hold off everybody behind him, Brad Keselowski made an impressive move on the outside to pick up the Stage 1 victory. Stage 2 kicking off with Ryan Priest and Brad Keselowski leading the field to green. As we saw a tremendous pushing and shoving on the restart, the racing was just intense. Every driver trying to gain track position early in Stage 2. Brad Keselowski eventually taking control of the pack as we hit the midway point in Stage 2 as he looked to have a very fast race car, hitting our second round of green flag pit stops starting on lap 103. Shortly after everybody made their green flag pit stop, we had our first caution due to incident of the day. A big eight car pileup including Kevin Harvick and Tyler Reddick, as Kevin Harvick hit Tyler Reddick too hard in the rear bumper, creating a chain reaction behind them which brought out the caution. This bringing us a shootout to determine the winner of stage two as it was Ross Chastain and Alex Bowman bumper to bumper deciding the winner of Stage 2, Ross Chastain just barely able to edge him out to pick up the Stage 2 victory. With a pretty calm Stage 1 and 2 behind us, we geared ourselves up for a wild and chaotic finish in the third and final stage. With a quick caution at the start of Stage 3 for debris, we saw Eric Almirola take the lead on the restart. After some intense racing in Stage 3 with multiple different leaders, we finally approached the final green flag pit stop with 25 laps left to go in the race. As we got ready to decide a winner of this thing, the gloves were about to come off. With everybody making the green flag pit stop with about 20 laps left to go in the race, and the pack trying to get all grouped back up together, we saw another caution come out, the 34 hitting the 41 too hard, creating a chain reaction of Rex and Chaos behind them. Going back racing with 14 to go, with your new race leader being Harrison Burton. Burton not being able to hold on to the lead for long, as we saw Brad Keselowski move his way to the front with another impressive move on the outside with five laps to go. Getting down to the closing laps, we saw Daniel Suarez spin out with five laps left to go, making his way in the grass, which brought out another caution. As this thing was going to green-white checkered, and that's when all the chaos happened, as we saw multiple cautions at the end of this thing. The final caution saw Austin Dillon get loose on the first green-white checkered, creating a huge stack up behind him, multiple hard hitters involved. The race ending in chaos as we saw Ricky Stenhouse able to outlast all the carnage as he won this thing as we had a caution on the final white flag lap. Joey Logano trying his best to get around him, but when the caution came out, Ricky Stenhouse was just barely edging ahead, winning his first ever Daytona 500. I must say congratulations to Ricky Stenhouse on picking up his first Daytona 500 victory. Let me know what you guys thought about this chaotic race. Always like, comment, subscribe, and Matthew and I will see you Tuesday with a Monday Night Raw recap. Until then, peace out. This has been Cosmet. Thanks for watching.